Hi, I'm Paul Good from Great Stuff That Works, where we find only the products proven to be the stuff you love to live with. Now, you probably haven't thought about flashlights too much, unless you were broken down by the side of the road or you were sitting there in the dark after a power failure. But flashlights are one of the things our readers wanted to know, what makes up a great flashlight? Well, there are several things. Number one, you want it to be super bright. Number two, you want it to have long battery life. Number three, you need it to be really durable. And number four, it needs to be small enough so you can carry it around. Well, flashlights vary a lot in size, as you know. You have your very large flashlight, you have your sort of hardware store type of flashlight, and then you have some of the little LED flashlights. But none of these actually put it together the way the product that we found when we did our research. Now, your standard flashlight only puts out about 40 lumens. Now, lumens is just a measure of light, but it allows you to be able to compare how bright one thing is to another. A small LED flashlight can put out 50, 60, sometimes 80 lumens, but it doesn't throw a very wide beam. However, the flashlight that we found puts out 200 lumens and actually has three different settings so that you can use it ideally for the type of work that you're doing. It has a max setting, which is 200 lumens, which allows you to instantly be able to throw a beam onto anything you need to see. It has a second setting, which is 150 lumens, which allows you to be able to survey an area. And because of the way that the lens will actually pull back to a wide scope, that you can now survey a very wide area very quickly. And the third setting is a 30 lumen setting, which allows you to be able to work up close because you can't use 200 lumens and do anything that's within a few feet of yourself. It'll just reflect too much light off the object. And you get all that in a flashlight that's built to military toughness and stays lit for up to 55 hours using four AAA alkaline batteries. But what really matters is whether you can see if anybody's lurking in the dark. Hmm. For my full review on this and other great stuff that works, go to greatstuffthatworks.com. This is Paul Good, technology correspondent for the Needham Channel News.